storing fruits and vegetables using a clay pot cooler to reduce spoilage and prevent post-harvest loss. In this video, you will learn how to build, use, and maintain a clay pot evaporative cooler. When properly maintained, a clay pot cooler can keep your fruits and vegetables fresher longer. That saves you money, increases the availability of these nutritious foods for your family, and also means fewer trips to the market. Clay pot coolers are designed to cool air through the evaporation of water, providing a stable environment to store most fruits and vegetables. There are three methods of building a clay pot cooler. Each method requires pots, sand, water, and a piece of cloth or burlap large enough to cover the inner pot. The first method is known as a pot-in-pot -pot cooler. To build a pot-in-pot -pot cooler, you will need two pots, one inner pot made of clay, plastic, or metal, and one outer pot made of clay that is large enough to leave a three to five centimeter gap between the two pots. Make sure the top of the inner pot is at least two centimeters higher than that of the outer pot. The second method is the clay pot in plastic basin cooler. To build this cooler, you will need one inner clay pot and an outer basin that can be metal or plastic and large enough to leave at least a three centimeter gap between the outside of the clay pot and the outer basin. The third method is the clay pot in clay dish cooler. To build this cooler, you will need one inner pot made out of clay, one outer dish made of clay large enough to leave at least a three centimeter gap between the outside of the clay pot and the inside of the outer dish. Once you have decided on the method you will use and gathered your pots, you will need to prepare your sand. Sand should be free of large particles and dust. To remove large particles, use either your hands or sieve through a three to five millimeter wire mesh. Remove the dust by winnowing, which uses the wind to remove the dust. Pour sand in the bottom of the outer pot to create an even surface for the inner pot to sit. Center the inner pot on the layer of sand inside the outer pot and fill the space between the two pots with additional sand. Add enough water to thoroughly wet the sand until it takes a few seconds for the water to absorb from the top. If the inner pot begins to float, too much water has been added and will need to be drained before using the cooler. Before filling the inner pot with fruit and vegetables, make sure they are dry, in good condition, and free from dirt and insects. Place the fruit and vegetables in the inner pot. Be sure that the items added can be stored together. Certain fruits and vegetables should not be stored in a clay pot cooler because they will easily rot in a high humidity environment. These include garlic, onions, potatoes, and cereals. Certain fruits and vegetables can also emit odors that can be absorbed by one another. For this reason, it is best not to store carrots, eggplant, sweet peppers, cabbage, and oranges together. Once you have filled your clay pot cooler with fruits and vegetables that can be safely stored together, wet a piece of cloth or piece of burlap. Be sure to squeeze the cloth so there is no excess water in it. Place the wet cloth over the top of the inner pot so it is completely covered. Check the cloth and sand to make sure they are always kept wet. Be sure to add water to the sand if it begins to dry out. It is important to store your clay pot cooler in a shady and well-ventilated place. Do not store the cooler in direct sunlight. Do not allow the sand and covering to dry out. Do not leave the cooler uncovered. Do not allow dust and dirt to accumulate on or in the pot. The cooler should be cleaned regularly with a sponge or wet rag. Do not store in poorly ventilated areas. Do not store meat, 
dairy, or medicines in the cooler. Following this method, you can safely store fruits and vegetables for longer periods of time without spoilage, which will save you money and provide nutritious food for your family.